The Acer Concept D3 easel is the little brother of the CES 2020 announcement of the Easel 7. This one has GTX graphics, an Intel i7-10750H processor inside of an all-aluminum laptop that not only packs a punch but looks great. I've taken the Acer Concept D3 easel and run it over 14 plus creator Focus benchmarks to create the ultimate creator focused review. We're going to look at 3D modeling, video editing, and photo editing, motion design, graphic design, and more. Let's get rocking! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. If that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, if you're curious about the exact availability and pricing of this laptop, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. As I pulled the Acer Concept D3 out of the box, I was pleased to see a thin and light laptop that held a firm attention to detail. Smooth beveled edges, a single hinge spanning the entire screen behind the middle of the screen, and a mid-sized trackpad suitable for the on-the-go creator. Now, speaking of the hinge, this laptop has zero screen flex and opens and closes smoothly due to the design of the laptop. This is not a surprise, but I will say that this is a design that took a huge amount of foresight, research, and development, plus years of trial and error. If you've been watching my channel for even less than a year or more than a year, you'll remember that I reviewed the Acer Concept D9 easel. My biggest complaint was the hinge. It was wobbly. It felt kind of unstable. It just wasn't the best design. Now this was Acer's first production attempt at the easel build and while it was good it was not great. The Concept D3 and Easel 7 are a response to the initial design choice that led to a less than sturdy hinge configuration. And I love to see Acer learning from the mistakes that they've made or just the improvements that they can make over time. While we are talking about the screen let's take a look at the color gamut range, color accuracy, and brightness of the Concept D3 easel. According to my test the Acer Concept D3 with its full HD display can reach 330 nits at full brightness and has a color gamut range of 99% sRGB, 79% Adobe RGB, and 79% DCI-P3 um, with an average delta E of 8.2. Now, being that this is Acer's Creator Workstation, I'm a little disappointed by the absence of 100% Adobe RGB and a lower Delta E. This is an area I think they could have made a lot of improvements on it. And although this laptop does come with pretty solid color gamut range, the Delta E is an indication, it provides us with a benchmark of how accurately it will reproduce those colors on the screen. The lower the Delta E rating, the more color accurate the screen is. Now I filmed a whole video on color gamut range and color accuracy, and you can check that out in the YouTube cards above, but I would encourage you to wait till the end of the video to check out that specific video. Now do note that after some research, I found that the 15 inch model does come with the higher color accuracy and color gamut range with a Delta E rating of less than two. So if you want color accuracy, I would spend the extra 200 ish dollars. Um, it might be a little bit more than that, but I think that's kind of the average increase in price. And that will get you the 15 inch model. And I'll link up that model in the description below as well. If you want to compare live pricing between the 14 inch and the 15 inch. The top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck and side panels of the Acer Concept D3 easel are anodized aluminum. I want to mention as well that the side panels are a part of the keyboard deck. So the entire keyboard deck extending down the side panels is one solid piece of aluminum. I like this because it removes any risk of the two pieces separating over time or, you know, cracking or, you know, bending or, you know, coming apart during an accidental drop of some sorts. Now, speaking of the build, let's talk about how on the go this laptop really is. Weighing in at 3.84 pounds and at a thickness of 0.68 inches thick, it is almost a half a pound lighter and barely thicker than the MacBook Pro 16 at 0.64 inches thick. The port selection on the Concept D3 easel is very generous, and I'm really happy to see the SD card reader still hanging around on a number of laptops on the market these days. I'm a big fan when creator laptops include it. It is a highly used port for me personally, and I know a lot of other creators think so and do so as well. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value and you want to save money on your next laptop or desktop PC purchase, then you don't want to miss out on my texting community, 850-306-4644. A lot of things will be going on over there, including you know being able to ask me questions, engage with me. Um, but what I'm most excited about for you guys is the weekly text deals that I'm sending to you directly via text. 
So every week you'll get a fresh lineup of the latest deals that I find. Those will all come directly to your phone. So again, text me at 850-306-4644, hashtag deals to get you in on that. Moving down to the aluminum keyboard deck, Acer has put a spacious full-size keyboard on the Concept D3 without a numpad. The keys have a nice soft touch material as well as a firm, snappy, and quiet key press. The backlighting on the keys is good, but not great. Um, there are some light leaks around the keycaps and some areas of the keyboard. The lighting is slightly inconsistent. This is certainly not a deal breaker, but this is an area of the laptop that deserves maybe a little more attention on their next iteration. The trackpad, on the other hand, comes with no complaints. It has a wonderful assembly. It is soundly secured to the chassis, has a smooth and firm click activation. It is a substantial size, so it's bigger, especially for a 14 inch laptop. This is a pretty big trackpad comparatively for the size. Um, normally, uh, the size of the trackpad on this size laptop would be a good bit smaller because of the space, but Acer has done a really good job kind of pulling the keyboard up a little bit higher to give you more room for the trackpad. Okay, now I'll pause so that you can listen to me typing and using the trackpad. This laptop does come with a 720p webcam, so you don't have to miss out on those crucial virtual meetings if the need arises. If you're curious about the pen capabilities, I have filmed a completely separate video covering the pen and Concept D3 easel's intimate relationship, touch sensitivity, ergonomics, screen tilt, and more. So you can check that out in the YouTube cards above. Um, but again, you can wait till the end of the video to check that one out. This laptop has excellent ventilation on the keyboard deck, behind the keyboard deck, bottom cover, and both side panels. Now, one thing I did notice though is that these vents don't do the most amazing job cooling this laptop. The laptop does get a little bit warm, and um, so you can take a look at what to expect on how warm this laptop gets compared or in relation to the benchmarks coming up later in the video. Let's take a look at those right now. As you can see on my charts, it fits to the mid to upper range, um, but when you closely look at the full chart, you'll see that it runs a lot warmer in DaVinci Resolve compared to Premiere Pro. Now that we've gone through all of the details concerning the build and usability of this laptop, let's dive into the performance specs. The Acer Concept D3 I'm reviewing comes with the Intel 10th Gen Core i7 10750H with six cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GTX 1650 Max-Q, 16 gigs of RAM, and 512 gig SSD. Photoshop is my mainstay for testing a laptop's abilities inside of design-focused tools, such as the full Adobe Design Suite, including Illustrator and InDesign, plus other tools like Affinity Design and Photo, Sketch, and Figma. In the Photoshop benchmarks, the Acer Concept D3 easel is sitting in the high end of the mid-range scores with a 650 in the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark. Definitely a great laptop for Photoshop, especially that it gets a high Photoshop score and it's fantastic easel design comparatively to most two-in-one laptops and uh, I'll talk about the differences between most two-in-one laptops and the easel I'll do a comparison of probably like the Spectre X360 versus the easel so keep an eye on that for that on the channel make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it the Acer Concept D3 easel is a great laptop for Photoshop and I will say that it is no slouch in After Effects either as you can see, the Acer Concept D3 is pulling a 776 in the After Effects score, which for this laptop is very, very good. In the After Effects render, it is snagging a 610, which is not bad at all for this GTX 1650 Max-Q equipped laptop. I honestly thought it would score lower, but I'm happy to see that it proved me wrong. It is nested amongst some of the even beefier GPU benchmark scores. In Geekbench single core and multi core, the Acer Concept D handled itself well, attaining a 1,175 on the single core benchmark, placing it nearly in the dead middle uh, of my charts, and then a multi core score of 4,672, which places it slightly below some of the other i7 10750 CPUs on my chart. Intel is a strong single core contender, um, which makes it great for video editing, motion design, and 3D modeling. And other concepts and other um, apps like that sorry not concepts intel is a strong contender in single core performance which makes it great for video editing motion design 3d modeling and the like moving into the 3d modeling benchmarks let's take a look at cinebench r20 and r23 the acer concept d3 easel came in on the lower end of the mid-range chart scoring a 2,357 in R20 and a 6,265 in R23. If you're looking for a 3D modeling laptop, I would steer you towards the big brother 
of the three series and snag the concept d7 easel as it has a bigger more beefier dedicated gpu in the nvidia rtx 2070 gpu with 8 gigs of vram and this is definitely um, when i'm talking about 3d modeling specifically this is farther proven when we look at the dedicated 3D modeling benchmarks in such programs like Autodesk 3ds Max, which scored a 91.26, which is definitely on the lower end of the charts. Autodesk Maya, a 107.4, PTC Creo, a 74.42, and a SolidWorks score of 58.39. And for the Blender Classroom benchmark, the Acer Concept D3 Easel was able to pull out a test on the GPU at 9 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, let's get into video editing in DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. First, I'm gonna start off with a playback test. As always, nine minute 4K clip, place into the timeline, put some motion graphics, play it back at full quality. This clip contains 16,177 frames in total, with 7,240 of those frames being motion graphics. During this test, the Concept D3 easel saw drop frame rates as follows. At full quality, 33 drop frames. At half quality, zero drop frames, and at fourth quality, zero drop frames. Now, for this, Laptop being a GTX 1650 Max Q, it's a fantastic playback score. Or not score, but but the lack of drop frame, should I say. So I'm very impressed with how well Acer has optimized this laptop. So good work. I was running this test with only Premiere Pro open, so I will say that if you start multitasking, you may see more drop frames while video editing. Um, but if you drop to half or fourth quality, you should be able to pick back up on that smooth video editing experience. To render out the 7,240 frames, of motion graphics that in the project it took 30 minutes and 45 seconds which is great for the i7 750 and gtx 1650 max q equipped laptop moving on to the 4k export test i'm going to take a nine minute 4k clip place it into premiere pro and davinci resolve using the free version of davinci resolve then export them out at 1080p and 4k youtube settings for the premiere pro 4k to 4k export it took three minutes and 46 seconds for the Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p, it took 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Now keep in mind, this is with the charger plugged into the laptop. If you unplug the charger, it'll run a little bit quieter, um, and it'll also take a little bit longer for the export times. You might get a little bit less, a little bit more frames dropped in the playback. So just keep that in mind. That's a common thread amongst most Windows-based laptops. Now for the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export, it did that in 12 minutes and 36 seconds. And for the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p, it took 6 minutes and 47 seconds. Earlier, we took a look at thermals and component usage. This laptop would not be complete in its review if we did not check out the noise that this laptop produces while running these programs and benchmarks. At idle, we heard no fan noise. It kicks on. Right now, it's on. No fan noise. Very quiet laptop. Um, you hear more of the room than anything. During web browsing, it jumped up occasionally to 32 decibels in the Photoshop benchmark, got up to 49 decibels depending on the task it was performing. Sometimes it was very quiet or even no fan noise at all. For the Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export, we saw about 57 decibels at the peak, and for the DaVinci Resolve export, 56 decibels at the peak. Now, do note, that, as always, these tests have been conducted with the power cord plugged in. Do note that if you unplug the power cord, you will get a little bit slower playback and export times, as I mentioned, um, but it will run your computer below 40 decibels. That's the pretty awesome thing about Acer Concept D3 Easel. Um, and you can also go into some of the settings and put it on silent mode, even if your cord is plugged in, and that will help keep the noise to more of a minimal level. And this is great for a classroom or office setting. So if you're looking for a laptop that was built for on-the-go artists, designers, architects, or photo editors, then I would lean you towards the Acer Concept D series of whatever level performance you need. The 14-inch model is perfect for artists, designers, and photographers. The 15-inch is a little more color accurate if you need better color accuracy in the colors you reproduce on your designs or art pieces. And the Concept D7 is the Mac Daddy with 100% Adobe RGB color accuracy, amazing performance for 3D modeling, architecture work, and video editing. So those are my recommendations, and I'll link all those different models in the description below. So that way you can check them out, compare pricing, and see which model is best for you. Again, subscribe so you don't miss out on the future uploads, especially some of those comparison videos. And if you do use the links in the description below, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want more videos about the Acer Concept D3 or something else on the channel, click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. My name is Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.